Okay everyone, in this video we're going to go ahead and show you how to convert one of my patient intraoral scans into working dental models on an articulator. A person reached out to me on Facebook and this was a really cool idea. His name is Seth Reichenbach. He is a co-owner of a dental laboratory uh, in Sarasota, Florida. The laboratory's name is RDL Dental Laboratory. Uh, he came up to me with the idea and he says, hey, you know, I've been playing around with this idea of giving my, um, my doctor accounts, um, these digital models using uh, dental model resin from Formlabs, uh, and I don't want to go ahead and, and just send them my, my fancy ar uh, articulator that I use uh, in my dental systems or my ExoCAD software to print. So he said, I wonder if I can go ahead and do a CAD drawing of an articulator and then being able to 3D print that using a Formlabs printer or, or whatever printer he's got. And he came up with this really cool idea of a virtual articulator. So he reached out to me and I thought this was a bananas idea. And he and I have been working on this project, getting it ready to release, and we've got it ready for you. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to work with this file. First and foremost, what you're going to do is, is you're going to go ahead and click on the link below in the comments section uh, of the best place to go ahead and download these STL files. Just fair disclosure, he put a ton of work into this design. Uh, and he's only charging $10 for these STL files. It's a whole package the, of the things I'm going to show you. It's basically giving it away. So contribute $10. Bucks. Um, you know, if you want, send, send Seth some cases as well. He's an incredible resource. So after you go ahead and you click on the link below, it's going to redirect you to a, um, a, a PayPal website that's going to go ahead and let you pay the $10, and, um, and then it's going to send you an email of a clickable link. The clickable link is going to get to an email, just like you see here. I'm just going to click on this right here. It's going to open, and it's going to open up to this thing where it says compatible iTerra articulator, no problem. I click download, and it's going to start downloading open and then what you can do is just go ahead and drag this folder to anywhere that works for you and I went ahead and I just dragged it here onto the desktop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and simulate a patient scan and put it into a virtual articulator. The coolest part about this idea is, is we went ahead and uh, working together we designed this folder using his articulator and some attachment parts that I helped develop for him. And the idea here was is that you can go ahead and open up Mesh Mixer in this .mix folder. So what you can do is just see here we've got articulator attachments functions. Unless you're kind of an advanced user, go ahead and ignore these STL files. What I want you to do though is go ahead and open up Mesh Mixer and you're going to drag articulator.mix into your Mesh Mixer software. Now, the general workflow of what we're going to do is, is we're going to go ahead and open up my patient scan. And my patient scan is raw out of my intraoral scanner. It's usually exported as an STL file, the lower and the upper. All I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of them, left click and drag into my Mesh Mixer software. It's going to ask me to append or replace. I just click on the append button. And after it's thinking and done thinking, it's going to go ahead and virtually put my patient's teeth onto the screen. And now just as a review, you can go ahead and look at my other videos or my online course of how to properly go ahead and work with these files in Mesh Mixer. Anytime that I'm selected, I've got this kind of light gray look to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this little slider here, and I'm going to grab this triangle, and I'm going to move my model out into this position. Now in this position, we're going to go ahead and then just more or less orient the models to about, you know, something along the lines of that. What you generally want to do is, is go ahead and take your patient's scan and kind of put it in the middle of these little articulator attachment parts. The general idea is, is that this is the articulator here. It's going to hinge open and closed. These little attachments merely serve as a method for you to go ahead and attach these to the actual patient's dental model. Now from a frontal point of view, I also want to line up the occlusal plane and put the patient's midline about in the middle of the articulator. You can look at it from multiple dimensions. It's not critical that it's ex exactly perfect, but what really matters is, is, is that we have everything lined up so that way it's clean within the articulator um, attachments. So, once I've cut away my model, everything here is set. 
I'm going to turn back on my little attachment portions, making sure that the edges of my upper and lower models are not past this flat part of that attachment. Now once satisfied, I can go ahead and start cleaning up the upper model. Everything here looks nice, except that I've got something filling in on the palette. Now watch how easy this is. I can left click just this little portion. Then I can go under my Sculpt tool, Brushes, and my Draw Double Plus, this one right here. Left click that, increase my size and my strength to right around 60, 70, somewhere in that range. You don't want to hit the left mouse button because it's going to grow the model. If you accidentally do that, Control Z or Actions Undo. We'll take that back. To remove this, you go ahead and hold the control button down on your keyboard and then you left click. And it's only going to remove the portion that's on the palette. And when you do that, it now has effectively blended those two files together. Just as a final touch up, you don't have to do this, but I like to just to make it look good. Brushes, shrink smooth, no control, just hold down that left key and get that to blend in and it's going to look gorgeous right there at that little junction. You're going to left click the articulator, this file, and this file. It's going to be a total of top attachment, top articulator, max.stl, and that's going to allow you to join all three of them, them together. When you do that, it's going to give you this combined function. You click that. When you do that, it's going to combine it into a single layer right here. and It's going to kind of come out with these kind of goofy looking colors. Then all you need to do is click on File, Export, and when you do that, we're going to go ahead and call this um, Man Print Articulation. Okay, And then the same thing, do that for the lower, but remember I have two other little tiny parts that I want to pick up here on my lower. When you select all of them, I want to get rid of that, looks good. Combine, and now it's going to create just two files here, max and man. Here's your max, all is one part, man all is in one part right there. Then on my man, I click export, file export, man print articulation. Oop. I must have saved the other one as man. So let's call this, I'm going to rename this one to max. That was my mistake. And now I'll call this one that should be the mandibular man print articulation. And I hit file save or export. And now I'm ready to bring it into my uh, Formlabs 3D printing software. Now alternatively, as I mentioned before, you can go ahead and, ext and um, extract just, okay, undo a little bit more here. There we go. Now I'm going to get back to this point where I said that there's two different ways to do this. If you want, you can turn off your top articulator and bottom articulator. I can left click just these two files, which is max.stl and top attachment, meaning the upper model and the attachment, and combine. And same thing, I can do that for the lower, holding my shift key down, selecting all of the files and clicking combine, and it's going to save them in the man fold. Now all it is, is is you have the attachment with the dental models ready to be snapped onto your articulator after you 3D print. Click on File, Export, Max, Print. And export that file, Export, and there you go. And now my Max Print, I'll just drag it. Opening up my folder, left clicking, holding, and dragging into my preform software. Okay, and you can just go ahead and print just like normal. You should be able to print directly to the base. However, I do find it much more predictable to go ahead and orient similar to this, and then you would put on supports on there. Okay, and I can position those into the places I would want it to be.